past summer, we launched a very focused direction for Evangel moving forward. We emphasize that although our Sunday morning worship gatherings like this one are so important, still one hour a week is not enough for us to truly grow in our faith as followers of Jesus. Sunday's not the end game anymore. And so we launched three cohorts and one of them was 3Q. Ian and Andrea, Joan and Judy were all a part of the 3Q cohort and we asked them to talk about their experience as part of that. What were you expecting? I guess we didn't really have that much in the way of expectation. It's kind of hard to really understand what it's going to be. I suppose I, I did worry a little bit that it was going to be this kind of intense, you know, scrutiny and study and, and you know, really tough questions and really making you like, you know, sweat. Um, and of course it's not that, right? So it's it's really kind of informal and it's, but at the same time, it's it, it has enough depth to it that you can really engage, right? So the questions start easy and some of them sound like they're really simple questions. And you kind of look at them and go, hey, that's a really easy question. And then you stop and you say, actually, it's it's really not that easy a question to answer. Or it's, but it's a really complex answer. And then you start to hear other people respond to the question and it throws a whole new angle on, on what you've just heard and what you've heard in the sermon and what other people are saying. And it, it really allows you to spend some time reflecting on the on the sermon on the material and really engage with it personally and start to think actually how how does that affect me what does that mean for me and my faith we started online we did that for a little bit and for me personally i enjoy being in the service and with other people that i'm, I'm actually seeing and what i've enjoyed um, is developing relationships with people because you tend to be in the same um, area of the church to do it and so you you're sitting with people that you maybe saw last week or the week before so you can start to develop the relationship and actually get to know those people and learn from them I think that's you know as Ian said reflecting on what was said and actually engaging with it because you know it's easy to come to church and to listen to the sermon and to just go away and then you're back in your life but it's not a big commitment to make that time to just stay that little bit longer and actually reflect on the on the sermon and think, as Ian said, you know, what is what does that mean to me? How, you know, is that gonna impact my life and my journey of faith? Mm. Um, but yeah, the relationship aspect I've I've really enjoyed. My um, reason for coming and, and doing that is uh, participating in the group was um, to connect with other people. I think we've been locked up for so long. Um, you know, I've been coming to the church for a couple of years now and and post pandemic, I knew the same two people that I knew um, before I <laughs> before the pandemic. Um, so I, I, I was coming for a reason to connect and also a reason to reflect as well, as was mentioned before. Well, what I was expecting was to be asked three questions because I think the, the name of it is really very appropriate. Um, but I think what surprised me was just the, the level of, um, well, the depth that we could get into in our, just as Ian and Andrew, Andrea have said that, you know, it, it might start off a little on the easy side and you think, oh yes, I can answer this. And then you get thinking and then because you're engaging with others, it leads you on a little journey together. And uh, we find that we've, by the end of the conversation, we've created something wonderful together and we've just engaged with the sermon and, um, and what we're learning and just taken it to an, a bit of another level. How has the 3Q cohort impacted your journey of faith? I, I think, first of all, it's a very positive thing after a sermon to be able to have time to reflect. And, you know, there's things that a, a, each individual will take out of it. But when you come together as a group, you not only get what you've gotten out of it, but what everyone else has also gotten out of it. And it, it I think, enriches the the opportunity to learn and benefit from the sermon enormously. Two aspects, I guess, because we, we started online and then we came to the in-person. So for the online one, I think for me, I was, I was really thankful for the opportunity to have that connection when we were stuck at home the whole time and, and there was no service, no possibility of meeting. 
but at the same time you're you're sat in your in your front room on a couch and, and it's a little screen in front of you and it kind of feels a little bit like it's something that's happening over there and then the three q at the end of it is is much more like suddenly you're a part of the service now suddenly you're actually engaged in it and it's it was a, a big change actually in, in terms of being part of the service as opposed to watching the service um, and then as, as Andrew's already mentioned once we came in person and we started to stay every week and see the same people and start to get to know people a bit more that was just wow that's like I'm actually meeting new people it's cool <laughs> And as Joan said as well, learn, you know, you learn so much from other people. I mean, there's been times when I've been quite surprised. I hadn't thought of something, somebody says yeah. something and I'm like, oh, you know, I never really thought about it in that way. So it's really useful um, to see other perspectives and to learn and to grow in that way. Well, first I would say ditto to everything else that's been said. Um, but I guess I could add to it that I like to be intentional. Um, and I think this has been a a good way to be intentional about learning what we're learning on a Sunday morning and really kind of yeah, engaging with it in, uh, in a deeper way. I'm a note taker, so I, when I'm in person in a, a service, I usually just take notes on my phone. But um, at home, I have a little journal. And so it's been neat to, to write notes and then to be able to actually take those notes out <laughs> during 3Q and refer to them and, and uh, yeah, and, and just add my two cents worth that way. So I think it's really, it has helped me on my, my faith journey, definitely. What would you say to someone considering 3Q? Well, I'm going to speak directly to the listeners in, in, the, in the audience, in the congregation, because I'm more of a listener than a speaker. And so you might be thinking, oh, well, I wouldn't go to something like that because I, I wouldn't I would really not like to speak out. Maybe you're shy as I am, but I, I really found it very enriching and I think it's worth doing. It's worth taking that step and doing something that maybe takes you out of your comfort zone a little bit, but you're going to grow and learn so much from it. And you are allowed just to sit there and listen. And, you know, there are some of us who speak a little bit more in 3Q and others who maybe add that one nugget at the end. Um, so there's there's a place for you in 3Q. You know, the, the conversations are amazing. Um, it's it does help you in your faith walk. It does help you to connect with other Christians um, and 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 meet people. And and that's uh, community is really uh, uh, important, particularly after eighteen or nineteen, however many months of COVID we've been going through. It's it's you know I'll certainly be coming back for sure. Definitely come. Um, it's it's. No matter how much you think you're getting out of the service right now, I think that this would just completely change your experience of it. It's, it's so much more enriching and deepening just to have that opportunity to to share your your input and hear other people's versions and hear their stories and, and learn from them and grow. It's just, it, yeah, it's there's no excuse. And as we already mentioned, you don't have to speak all the time. Come and listen. If you just want to come and listen, hey, there's a place for you here, but, but definitely come along. Yeah, and I guess, yeah, I would say challenge yourself. What are you spending your time on? You you know, if you'd go to the movie, you'd probably go out and discuss it with friends afterwards. Why wouldn't you do that with the sermon? Why wouldn't you want to talk to other Christians and see, you know, did they see it from the same perspective? Have they got a, an alternative way of looking at it? Um, and discuss how, it, you know, how you're actually going to put into practice some of the things that have been said in the sermon, things like that. So definitely come. Our next 3Q cohort begins Sunday, January 2nd, online or on site, half an hour right after our Sunday morning worship gathering. Text three questions, all one word to the number on the screen for the link and password, or if you're on site, just stay in the auditorium. Whether you're new to faith, considering faith, or you've been here forever, come and be part of the conversation.